Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on the Beep Street Drumbone, the modular groove box. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can use the recently added No Generator rack. So let's start adding two audio channels like so. On the first audio channel, we'll scroll down and we search for Drumbo. Here we go. On the second audio channel, we select just um, the first, um, just one synth uh, at your leisure, at your preferences, really. Uh, let's select the bass. Oh, actually, the bass is already selected, so that's good. Let's ensure that um, these uh, um, is connected to Drumble. Uh, let's say that it will receive only channel number two. Okay. Let's go to inside Rumble, maximize the window, and let's start. Let's say, let's remove everything the MIDI to CV. Let's say that you started to use, for example, a clock generator, and alongside that clock generator, um, you're using a CV sequencer to drive effectively a a preset which is a jump base okay let's make some connection so let's ensure that the clock from the cv sequencer come from the clock generator and also let's ensure that the pitch from the jump base is connected to the cv sequencer uh, and the pulse signal from the to the clock generator okay so let's click play Let's adjust the speed a little bit slower. And also, let's um, create a different um, pattern, something like so. Okay, perfect. Let's say that um, you like the, uh, the bit, you like the sequence, but now instead of using the jump bass, instrument inside Rumble, you want to use uh, the Arturia ISIM in the other audio channel. So how do you do that? We have a cloud generator and you have CV signals which are going directly into the jump bass instrument. So that's how you do it. You remove the jump bass instrument, you go under MIDI and you select a note generator. You connect the pulse directly to the clock and the pitch you connect it to the CV sequencer. Okay, then you add also a MIDI output, you select MIDI out, and channel number two. And here we go, let's click play. As you can see, Arturia ISM is now playing. Let's go back to Drambo. The Actually, the pitch is too high, so after we have converted the CV, uh, signals into MIDI notes, we can add something else from the MIDI category. So, for example, we could, not the MIDI chance, we could um, uh, select transpose and say minus 12 interval 2. Let's try. And it would be good. If I remove that MIDI chance and re-add that MIDI output, which I removed by mistake. There we go, channel number two. Perfect. As you can see, the, the velocity is not driven um, by anything at the moment. So let's um, add something else between the clock generator and the CV sequencer. So let's go to the utility and let's uh, add, for example, gate velocity sequencer. Let's connect the clock directly to uh, a clock generator directly to the input clock of the gate and velocity sequencer. And let's do let's do some gating for now, something like this. Here we go, and then let's connect that velocity from the mini generator to the velocity coming from the gate and velocity sequencer. Let's let's go for it. OK, 
Okay, let's stop here. So as you can see, the new MIDI note generator, which has been added recently uh, by Bip Street, enables you to convert CV, gate and velocity signals into MIDI events, which then you can redirect through the MIDI output to another channel, like in this case, to channel number two inside the AUM. I hope you found this useful, and as always, see you next time. Bye.